And we kick off that final session with the first event, men's 400 metres freestyle in the S6 class. My name's Paul Noble. I'll be taking you through the action over the next seven days of competition. There's the programme for this evening. We start off with the two 400 metres freestyles. A number of finals, as you see there. We have over 20 finals tonight. About 24 finals for this evening's session. And that kind of number of finals can continues throughout the seven days of competition. Start list for the first final this evening. See so just five swimmers taking the start. We had heat sessions this morning. But this one is just a straight final. So we haven't seen these swimmers already in the heat this morning. Nothing really much to go on on what kind of form they're in. The swimmer in lane number three, Kaiosuki Oyama. Oh, we can't see the swimmer in lane number two, swimmer from Iraq, so I'm not sure what's happened to the swimmer from Iraq in lane two. But we have Oyama in three. There is the Paralympic champion, Darren McDonald from Ireland, won that title last year in London. First of two Colombians in five and six, Danielle Londono. His teammate on the outside lane, Nelson Crispin. Wow, There's only four in this final. Very unusual. This a number of withdrawals here from the final, especially the man from Iraq. Judah has not taken the start for this final for some reason, but Darren McDonald is very much the favourite for this one. The world record holder set back in 2009 from the previous Paralympic champion Anders Olsen of Sweden. Very fast, four minutes, 47.75. Darren McDonald was a little bit shy of that when he won the title in London, some eight seconds short of the time. World record held by Olsen, who took the silver in London. Darren McDonald, the only man starting from the pool. And this is the final of the men's 400 freestyle S6. Hello, it's Nick here. I've got my cough uh, button on. Can anybody hear me? And uh, on the way. And a good start there for Oyama. And Crispin in the two outside lanes. At the moment, Paralympic champion trailing in the early stages, but as I said, he was going from the wall, so you'd expect swimmers with a, a better push off the block to get the advantage in the early stages. This is the S6 class, and in Paralympic swimming, there are 14 classes taking part in this championship. S1 to 10 swimmers with a physical disability with S1 being the most severe disability and S10 being the least impaired so this is round about the middle of the road Darren McDonald the favourite and Paralympic champion takes the lead yes good evening uh, Paul what a splendid world championships uh, this will be I'm sure my second and uh, some wonderful work done in London 2012 for the Paralympic Games. We've got the big names here. It's a big, exciting list, defending world titles and obviously wanting to take reputations forwards after successful Paralympic Games. And Doug McDonald from Ireland, still in the lead in lane four here. Entry time of 4.55.56. Some, some distance on paper clear of the field, some 34 seconds. So he'll be quite relaxed out there at the moment. And no doubt... Very excited about the prospect of a gold medal, but it is, is still early stages, but looking very strong at the moment. Darren McDonald is coming up to the turn here. Still hanging on there. Nelson Crispin. Yeah, well, we'll see the gap there. 
in the caption, 2.84 seconds. So Darren McDonald, you'd expect him to just stretch the lead as this race progresses. There's a medalist back in Beijing. It's uh, kind of when he burst onto the scene there, just before the Beijing Paralympic Games. I remember seeing him swim in Sheffield. And the Irish have a great record in Paralympic sport. I don't think they've failed to win a Paralympic medal in swimming since certainly uh, back to the 80s. And they had a great record to protect. I thought they were going to be struggling to get a medal in 2008, but this man came through, Darren McDonald, and he managed to take a medal at Beijing. Not the gold medal, though. He had to wait until London until he took the gold medal and took it away from the world record holder, Anders Olsen. But it is Darren McDonald leading now by a large margin. A good chance for one of the Colombians here to get onto the medal podium, the man who's kind of grasping that challenge at the moment. Nelson Crispin is ahead, he's in second position, and Kaisuke Oyama in third position, and he has been challenged by Daniel Londono. Look at that. Two Colombians could be on the podium here. This could be a great start for the Colombian team. Very few World Championship and Paralympic medals. And they've got a chance for two here in the very first event. Doesn't look like gold, though, Nick. It doesn't, but um, these, these waters are liked by many nations. Speaking to the swimmers on deck this morning, it's a, it's a really sharp uh, feel to the water. Um, the quality is very good. The depth of the pool is three metres deep all the way along. There was some concern about the jets. The jets have been turned off at the side of the pool. Uh, the jets have been remaining on at the bottom of the pool. Some coaches were laughing that it might give some extra buoyancy. Um, but it's three metres deep, so any jet at that depth wouldn't actually affect any performance. We can see the waters are pretty still, pretty calm. We've got great big beefy anti-wave lane ropes here. And we can see uh, a number of lane markers. This is the red hot zone here, five metres out from the turn or the finish. And centre of the pool is marked with the yellow lanes. And, uh, of course, the fastest qual qualifiers always centre of the lane. Darren McDonald on his way home now. It's not a bad time actually for Darren McDonald. I was talking to the, the Irish guys just yesterday, the Irish team. And Dave Malone is the head coach for the Irish team, a Paralympic gold medalist himself. And he was kind of playing it down. He says, Oh, Darren, I'm not sure if he's going to do it. Yeah, yeah. We just playing it KG against the other teams. But the man from Ireland is going to take Ireland to the top of the medal table in the very first event. How often can they say that? Darren McDonald on his way back. The other three coming up to the final turn now. And it's Nelson Crispin in second position. And in third, a real battle for the bronze medal here. Oyama and Londono are going to fight that out. Looks like a good turn, though, from Oyama as Darren McDonald comes in to the last 10 metres. Darren McDonald going to take gold for Ireland. And then time of 4.55.56, the world record's 4.47.75. That doesn't matter. He is the world champion for Ireland, 5.19.23. And incoming now are the swimmers battling it out for the minor medals. But in silver position, finishing in lane number six is Crispin. He does take the silver and the bronze in lane three. We'll have to wait for this call. It was tight. Oyama unofficially with 5.41.03 for bronze. And they're looking back, waiting for confirmation. Here's the dive start. Very important to get away with a quick reaction time. Some swimmers staying under longer than others. You travel faster underwater, so they're trying to be aerodynamic, streamline as we call it in the world of swimming, and using their skills and their strengths underwater to travel as far as they can at speed. And there is McDonald with the cap of Ireland coming in, breathing every single stroke there. Head down for the last couple, perhaps. His lungs must have been bursting there at the finish and really punching that wall. His he cap, meant that. His cap just about staying on the cap yes. of Ireland. <laughs> Nearly off there, but it doesn't matter. He is a world champion. Dara McDonald takes Ireland to the top of the medal table here in Montreal, taking the gold. Nelson Crispin takes silver and Kazuki Oyama takes the bronze for Japan.
Oh, I should have introduced you. Uh, they, they had like, they had a remiss of me. It's the late Nick Gillingham. Yes, good evening, Paul. <laughs> no, my, my pleasure to be back again. Um, a very, very big...